Greetings. Hello. Welcome. So in the following video, we'll be looking at another example of of Norton theorem, which is the first of the two examples that we would do. So let's go ahead and find IL. Go ahead and find IL, which is the current flowing through the 33 ohm resistor using Norton theorem. Okay. So we know that in Norton theorem, our equivalent circuit or Norton equivalent circuit will have will have a current source connected to two resistors that are parallel to one another. These resistors being the load resistor and the R noton resistor. Okay, so looking at our our equivalent circuit, we can already see that we have we have we have our load current, which is thirty three, not load current. My apologies, our load resistor, which is thirty three ohms. 33 ohms, so we have that, we are missing R noton and we are missing I noton. So the steps that we are going to do, we'll just be finding R noton and I noton so that we can evaluate our load current. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Okay. And R not on finding R not on we do exactly the same thing we would do when we were finding R thevenin or the thevenin resistance which was oh, which was if you have voltage sources you would short circuit them. That's exactly what we would do. Short circuit this voltage source. So short circuit this one. And then go ahead and get our Rn. Okay. So this is a point X and Y. And just not, don't forget that we have removed this load resistor. We have removed it here. Just didn't draw it while it's removed. Okay, let me do it. Could look like this. The circuit would look like this. Nine thirty three seven ohms. This is ohms.
So from here right away, we see that this one is in parallel with this one. So R equivalent 1 is equals to 1 over 7 plus 1 over 9 or minus 1. So these guys combined will give us and give me an equivalent resistance of 3.93 at ohms. Okay, and then I can go ahead and draw and draw and draw an equivalent circuit. Which will have three point nine three eight ohms. I they will have thirty three sorry twenty three ohms. And this is where my RN is found. Okay. I'm reading my Rn from these two terminals. So these two right away are in series we can combine them to get our Rn. We can combine these two into a single resistor which we will call Rn 3.93 plus 23 that will give us 3.9 plus 23 that gives us 26.938 ohms okay so we have our R note on that's good the circuit is coming along nicely. So this is 26. 26.9 make it 4 ohms. So this we now have and that resistor we have. Now we need to find I noton. How do we find I noton? Well, to find I noton, to find I noton would bring back all the sources that we had removed from the circuit. That's what I mean. Would bring back the source that we removed here, and then would solve for. This was a good to write one ten volts. Okay. Cool. So we'll bring back all the voltage source. We'll bring back the voltage source which was one ten. All this was connected to a seven ohm resistor. And here we had nine ohm. Over there, 23 ohm. This is where we removed the load resistor that was connected here, X, Y. Now here's the difference. Here where, here is where. Our Norton theorem differs with with Thevenin theorem. So we would like to find out what our Norton current is across across the gap. But then current doesn't flow through the through an air gap or, or or through the gap. Okay, it doesn't flow through that. So what we do is 
would short circuit these two terminals and then measure or short circuit current across these two these two terminals and that short circuit short circuit current is actually our not on current so that's just something to to be aware of cool so let's go ahead and 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 so for i short circuit or i not on or current flowing through the terminal Okay, in order to do that, we would need to know. Okay, we would need to know what the current here is, or we can even use voltage divider. So let's combine these two resistors this one and this one. Since we have short circuited this one, they are now connected. This is now a connection. Therefore, 23 and 9 are now parallel to one another. So, our equivalent 1 over 9 plus 1 over 23. That gives us 6. 6. Point four six nine ohms okay let me just make sure one over twenty three minus one yep that's the correct answer okay so we have a r equivalent for these two combined so what i'm going to do is redraw the circuit Circuit would be a voltage source. We haven't done anything to that. Connected to, to a 7 ohm resistor. We haven't touched that. Then connected to an R equivalent resistor. R equivalent which is 6.469 ohms. Plus minus 110 volts. So what's our current flowing through this resistor? Well, we can easily get our current using current divider. What am I saying? I'm sorry. We can easily get our current just using Ohm's law. This is what I mean. Current. Because current flowing through this, the source current. Is the same as the current flowing through this resistor and and so on the current continues on this path back to the voltage source out of the voltage source and the path continues so i source is equals to voltage over total resistor plus six point six 6.649 See what the result is 110 divided by 7 plus Okay, so I'm getting I'm getting current of at 0.17 amps as my source current so that's the current flowing through this resistor there so but this resistor is an equivalent resistor of 9 and 23 so Tells me that that tells me that the I source 
and goes through the combined equivalent resistor of these two. Branches out. Looking at this, when it arrives at this junction, I source will branch out into I23, which is the same as the I that passes through the terminal. So that's our short circuit current. And then those, we also have I2 that passes through the 9 ohm resistor. But we're interested in the short circuit current. So from here, we have our source current and we have two resistors in, in parallel. Then we can use voltage divider to get our I short circuit. So with that, we can go ahead and write I short circuit, which is also the same as I Norton. I Norton is equal to what is our source current? It goes to my source current, which is 8.17 multiplied by the resistor that I'm not interested in, which is the 9 ohm resistor, then divided by the total resistor. So that is times 9 divided by 23 plus 9. Times 9 divided by 23 plus 9. That gives me a short circuit current of 2.297 amps. All right. So, just going to check my diagram, my, my equivalent circuit, see if we have all that we need. Looking at this, we have that, we have that, and now we've found that. So, 2.297 amps, we're good to go. Now we can just go ahead and evaluate IL using current divider. So, IL is equals to my IN multiplied by the resistor I'm not interested in, which is RN divided by RN plus, which plus RL. Go ahead and do that. 2.297 multiplied by 26.94 26 divided by 26.94 plus 33 26.94 Nine four plus thirty three one point one point zero three two amps. That's our um, load current. Thank you for watching. I wish you well.